Oh uh, yeah, ooh, ah, that's how it always starts. And later there's running and uh, screaming. Hi everyone, and welcome to Priority Holder, and today I'll be playing Mono Red Dinos in the Explorer format. Now a card I've been fascinated with for a while is Marauding Raptor. It's a 2 mana 2-3 two, that reduces all your creature spells by one generic, but as a punishment when a creature enters the battlefield it dings them for 2 damage, but if it's a dinosaur that was damaged, it gets plus two plus so. So I've always been sort of interested in sort of the risk reward of this card. And so really wanted to try it out. And with Lost Cadence of Ixalan, we got a lot more dinosaurs to add to it. So I decided to try it in a mono red package. We also have another cost reducer in the Huntmaster. So together we can sort of use these to play a bunch of dinosaurs in the same turn. Now, the idea is just to play a bunch of overstatted dinosaurs, including all stars like Rampaging Ferocidon. This has this stops life gain, so we can sort of punish strategies like angels or cat oven in that way, as well as um, redundancy with Cinder Maw. And Rampaging Raptor sort of does a questing beast impression. And we have Bone Horde Dracozar, which is known like infamous to those LCI drafters out there. One other last piece I want to talk about is Triumphant Trump, sort of like a, a punch spell, I guess, for dinosaur decks. But yeah, just trying to use overstatted and annoying creatures to to beat the opponents down. Let's jump into some games. So this, oh, that's a tough hand. We only have one creature. We do have some like reactive spells, but we would ideally want a lot more creatures. It, we do have a cost reduction creature. We do have that going for us, so. All right, Den of the Bugbear. Definitely gonna play that and play our Marauding Raptor. And just hoping and praying we draw something to go with it. All right, opponent has an innkeeper to go with their selfless savior. This is sort of looking like it's the Amalia combo deck. Those are both saviors in there to protect the pieces and innkeepers there to help the combo get going off. Now we do have a Scythe Claw Raptor. Fortunately, we did draw a creature. That's gonna juice up the Marauding Raptor a little bit. So we're gonna attack in. See what the opponent does. All right, no blocks. And it feels like we need to use one of these Triumphant Chomps now for Man advantage, man advantage and just to make something happen so we want the innkeeper to die but we knew the savior the selfless saber was going to take the bullet for it so all right another innkeeper so they have that redundancy but then they use up all their treasures with the skyclave apparition all right and they take the marauding raptor interestingly okay and we draw a rampaging raptor and the question is, do we just slam that and attack in? Because we know what they do want to like keep their pieces in play. So I decide just to go for it, and we smash them down to 11. And the opponent is trying to like assemble the right creatures. All right, so opponent cycles the land, plays a tap land. All right, so they, now they have the black source that they need. Came to play tap though, so we have a little bit more time. Now I'm trying to think so. So Rampaging Raptor has like a self-pump ability. That combined with Monstrous Rage might be able to get us there. So I just go ahead and attack right here just to see what happens. And the opponent does a block that's just a little too safe. It allows us to cast Monstrous Rage and pump for exact lethal and lock up the first win. That feels pretty good against combo. And as we move into the next game, please remember to Mishra's Helix the like button, comment, and subscribe. It supports the channel, and helps you know what the people want. Thank you. All right, so snap off this keep. Got a collection of dinosaurs to play, and we'll see what happens. All right, Swamp pass on the opponent. We're gonna definitely slam Belligerent Yearling here. All right, the opponent has cut down. We're just under that threshold, unfortunately. Demir Spybug, all right, so opponent has some interesting ideas like we do here, so. I decided to go and play Scythe Claw, Raptor, and pass. My opponent has searched for us, content. So there's their surveil engine that's gonna keep growing the spy bug each turn. Oh, Marauding Raptor's interesting. This is gonna allow us to sort of go off right here with multiple cost reducers. Because Lao is going to lead, if we lead with the Huntmaster, that's going to reduce Raptor down to one. Oh. I guess, yeah, what was I doing there? I think I missed the fact that I could have played them all right there. 
our disinformation campaign, um, decided to pitch the Raptor. So I guess it was sort of a weird, like, blessing in disguise that I had the extra card to pitch to disinformation campaign because Monster Shred seems super valuable as to locking this up and drawing a rampaging Raptor right there is absolutely incredible. And this isn't exactly lethal right here, but it's so backbreaking. It's gonna kill the only creature, yeah, and the opponent just packs it in. So we, we had that locked up, and we're moving on to the next one. Just hustling through these games of dinosaurs. All right. Mountain and pass. We don't have a lot of great one mana plays. All right, that's tough. Thought Seize takes our Marauding Raptor. Now, we don't have any good two mana plays right now. All right, so. Reckoner Bank Buster. Gonna go ahead and slam. Decide to slam Cinder Maw, the one they know about. Just keep them guessing a little bit. It's somewhat similar to Raptor. Glissa Sun Slayer is, uh, is a little. You know, it would be scary, but we have a Triumphant Charge. And it's interesting they played that right in the face, because they knew we had that. And they also don't crew up Bank Buster, I guess, because they know we have Monstrous Rage. But they could at least make us keep the mana up and stuff. Um, the question is, do we play Ferocidon or Scytheclaw Raptor? And I opt, opt for Raptor because it can tangle with the uh, the Bank Buster. And opponent plays Graveyard Trespasser. However, we have a source, we have a means of blocking life gain, so the opponent does not gain the life. We, are, we do lose the life, but they don't gain it. Now, I was about to fire off the Triumphant Chomp. They remember, they remember that there's the Ward discard a card, which is super annoying right here. So, decide just attack in with both of them. Alright, now they're going to fire up the Bank Buster. And they're going to go ahead and block like that. Unfortunately, Monstrous Rage doesn't help us a whole lot there. It would still trade with the Bank Buster. And I don't want to discard either of the cards, so we're going to keep keep them in. And Monstrous Rage can help us get through the Trespasser. And now, two trespassers so but now we have two sources of blocking their life gain both the cinder maw and the frost and opponents gonna attack in here this is like incredibly aggro I respect it but I'm, I'm shocked right here that they do that because they're not getting life off these triggers right here and they're facing some massive creatures now to go ahead and decide to triumphant chomp here pre-combat to keep like the Cinder Maw alive, though we did have like Monstrous Rage, so I don't know, maybe that was ill advised, like maybe it just wasn't necessary. So I do that and attack in, and the opponent has the Fatal Push, which we enabled right there. So unfortunately, we do knock them to five and feeling decent with the Monstrous Rage in hand and, and their life gain shut down at the moment. All right, Trespasser eats our Graver again there. Opponent's trusting in the aggro ability of the Trespassers. They knock us to 10. The opponent has Shieldred. That is not great. We are shutting down its life gain at the moment. But it is going to ding us right here for two. And oh, if only we had one more mana, that'd be a beautiful play. Attack with both, have Monstrous Rage up. But against Shield, I felt like this just had to be done right here. And fortunately for us, they don't have a way to blow it out. So the creatures are going to trade. They fall to three. And the unfortunate thing is now they can actually start getting life. We don't have any ways to stop it. So they get up to four. We fall to four. And they thought seize away our raptor. It was looking like we had the win. That, it's painful. But the thought seize bug rewards us with another raptor. So we definitely take... And the opponent probably was just absolutely furious at this outcome <laughs> they they did everything right and then we just rip a hasty 4-4 four four off the top and get the win so um we definitely take those kind of wins especially when we're trying to get them with mono red dinosaurs all right turn one lanoir elves being on the the draw against that does not feel great like i said especially because we don't have a lot of one drops so all right and then uh Turn to Kiora means replacing means we're playing against Mono Green Devotion, and and they already get so they have an absolutely insane amount of mana here as they pass their turn two. So it's looking 
already really bad for us. I mean, we have a cost reducer in play now. Like, you see how cheap our dinosaurs will be, but... You know, it's our opponent untaps the elf and plays... Or, you know, just casual turn three, storm the festival. No big deal. And puts an additional nine power on the board. No problem at all. Opponent's gonna send it. We're definitely gonna take it. It's... It's gonna be an uphill battle, to say the least. Now I'm gonna put Yearling into play because that actually dies to Marauding Raptor, so... Um, could have had even more mana efficiency if we could have played it, but... But that still is gonna let us play, uh... Giant Cindermaw right here. And, you know, like, that's... You know, that's not a horrible, uh, turn three ourselves, you know, look how much power we put on the board, but it's absolutely pales in comparison to what the opponent's doing. They're operating on a whole another level, another level right now. Alright, so opponent fires up Nykthos to play another Cavalier. And... They don't hit any lands, but they get a draw off Kiora. Now I'm gonna speed through this because the opponent actually just goes insane. Hits another copy of Nykthos, hits another Storm the Festival. And I'm scanning Uvenwald Oddity because I'm realizing if they flip it, they can give everything trample and haste. And at this point, I'd seen enough. They're about to generate a ton of mana, cast Cityscape Lab. Anyway, we were mega dead there. So an impressively fast kill from Mono Green Devotion right there. Our little dinos couldn't keep up. All right, Mutavault pass. I was keeping up the option of attacking with it, but obviously it gets mono red. It's not usually a good idea. All right, turn one. Fireblade Charger from the opponent. Um, going to play our cost reducer. And hopefully turbo out some dragons next turn. Our opponent sends in. Um, no block. Hoping to play the bunch of dragons. Opponent plays another charger. And interestingly, a second main phase monastery swift spear. So that was... That was interesting. Um... Maybe it had to do with, like, the pump spell they had in hand, or something, yeah. Anyway, we go ahead and play Yearling and Ferocidon. And I go ahead and, I want to attack in, I'm trying to decide which one I wouldn't mind dying. But then I'm like, well, actually, I think I would want that one, or anyway. I, I don't know what happened this, but I, I tried to activate and then attack in, but then decided not to. Um... Trying to decide what to block here. And just, I'm thinking like, alright, we can race them. But opponent has built to smash into Infuriate, and I'm realizing very quickly that we cannot race them. Opponent has just smashed us down to six. And, you know, we, we can slam Bonehard Dracosaur here, but in the face of what just happened, I'm thinking it's actually better to channel some Kenzin with just some expendable blockers. Because we have, they are down to nine and they do have pain lands. But opponent fires off a, a Titan strength before combat. And then they have thud. And combined with the Fireblade Charger's trigger means that we are actually dead here. So an impressive win from the opponent. Yeah, so that was like a fun little bunch of games right there. And yeah, it's interesting using Marauding Raptor. It, I think it could be a lot more punishing if we played against like Spike Field Hazard decks that can just sort of snipe off our creatures when they're dinged, and, and they could just use like a Lightning Strike to finish off Bonehorde Dracozar. So it is it is risky, but you could see sort of like the punchiness of this deck. Like there's a lot of like four power creatures, menace, damage dealing, haste, like just a lot of that kind of stuff going on. Especially if you toss in some monstrous rages, you can get some surprise kills. So I think there's there's something to this deck. And there's definitely more refinement to be done to it, so... But I, there, there's, there's something here. It's interesting. Might need some green in there to juice it up a bit more. But it was a fun experiment. And yeah, let me know in the comments, what's your favorite red dinosaur? Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.